uh, Dundalk pretty much clinching the title on Tuesday night, I know it'll hurt, but I suppose you have to congratulate them first off. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so, yeah, it's pretty much wrapped up. Um, that's what we'll have to aim through next year, you know, come back, use that hurt that they obviously had from us last year and channel that into a, an improvement of a league campaign, I suppose, next year. That's, that's our aim now on that. But absolutely, congratulations, well done, yeah. You must be disappointed about the way your own league is just kind of petered out. Yeah, it has been. Um, look, there the, those things going to happen. You you go up and down, and we struggle for a bit of form. I suppose a bit of continuity, maybe. But um, Master Game Sunday, really looking forward to that. A cup pedigree over the last few years has been excellent. But um, yeah, it, to get to that level and to maintain that level in the league is a real challenge. And, we just fell short of, of it this year, yeah. You were just saying to John, they're going for three cups in a row, you've won the league, you've been in Europe every year. Do you feel you get the credit you deserve for your achievements over the last couple of years? Probably not, no. You know, probably not. Um, to be able to challenge Dundalk and, and, and put up to them over the last few years and come out on top last year in the league and then again this year we're the only team that's doing it. and mm. um, We get a lot of knocks for our... our approach and our different style towards stuff but it's absolutely paying rewards you know it's um as i said in at times when pressure comes on the best thing to do is look at a bit of perspective regarding cork football potentially a massive game sunday obviously but if you could reach you know having reached four three cup finals if you can get to a fourth mm. you know no one knows people know I've fallen cork a long time i've not seen these this this kind of consistent standards so I suppose their standards we're setting and, and to try and maintain those is, is very difficult and but Sunday is, is really important for us. And if you were to win a couple it would still be a very successful season? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. I came back in 15. All I wanted was an attempt at a cup because of what happened in 2005. Yeah. Got one in 16, absolutely delighted. 17 then was just amazing and if you could get an opportunity to put 18 on the back of that, obviously, with the game Sunday first. But if you get, even got the opportunity to be in a cup final, it would, it would just be absolutely amazing. And in the last while, you've had to watch a lot of the, the matches from the bench. How hard has that been for you? Yeah, it's been frustrating. It has been. It's been, it's been frustrating. Um, it's something, look, you, no matter what, where you are in, in your professional career, where you are as a footballer, everyone wants to play, no matter how old you are, from 17 to 37. Everybody just wants to play, and it's the way it is regarding, especially at our level, everybody wants to play because they need to play because you have to be in the team. Because if you don't, you come out of the squad and you could come out of contract at the end of the year. And you know, it's, a, it's different if you're earning massive money, mm. whereas you know, we're coming out of it and it's, it, it's, it's quite a challenge. So, um, yeah, look, I just, I just, I've been training hard. Put my hand up when, when team selections are to be made, and I just hope I hope that uh, I'll hopefully get it, get back in the team soon. And for next year, is so you plan to stay playing next year? Or yeah, the um, world come up. Um, rest. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, look, yeah, yeah, I'm on contract for another year, so um, my plan at the moment still is to to, to be here for next year. Um, hopefully, wrap up this year uh, with, with, with a, on a high note. Um, absolutely, yeah. And then uh, obviously, Bowes, Sunday obviously they're, they're coming into the game high in confidence, like, nine in a row, they won in all competitions. Mm -hmm. I suppose you know you probably have to make your absolute best on Sunday, you've got to get the point. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, they are a team that I suppose overnight people are putting attention on them because of the run they've kind of put together. But you could see for the last three or four years the job that Keith Long was doing and the job that was being put in place at the club. And everyone um, can see on the inside what a fantastic group of young lads they have, hungry and ambitious. And it's a, it's a challenge. Our recent game up there didn't go that well, so that will be a challenge for us as well. They're flying high confidence wise, so it's it's a massive game for us, for our club. And there's all the last the hunger, so like in the next room, I suppose, is to, you know, to kind of arrest the recent slump in form, I suppose. Then we know a better way to turn around and to get into an effort cup fine. Absolutely, absolutely, and everybody who's been there understands how massive it is that they, you know, at the end of the season in the Aviva, 
and everybody new to the group, that's why they joined the group. So I think it's just it's a natural break in things anyway to, to refocus minds going into a cup game, just to shift away from the league. So that's that's where everyone is and that's where everyone's kinda of thinking at the moment and just really looking forward to it. Do you think your 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 plan for next next Sunday will be to possibly get him back here someday next week in the replay? I wouldn't think that's what we'll be aiming for. No, I wouldn't think I wouldn't think so. Um I think we'll go to, to win the game. Um I don't think John can sit kinda of set up teams any other way. He has never done it in my four years here, so um no, I, th I think we'll, we'll go to win the game. I think we'll go to get back to what we're good at doing. I think we've got to refocus minds. The line's got a bit blurry maybe recently about what we're actually good at. So um, I think that's. I think that, that'll be a full-blooded Coxie performance and something like that. Um, when things go wrong, everyone on the sideline and everyone around, around the pitch is an expert, you know? Yeah. Uh, are you finding that as, as, as a group that uh, no matter where you're going, Cork, uh, everyone's saying, well, he should have you in or he shouldn't have you in or he should have this guy or this is the way he played. Are you finding that in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, look, uh, <laughs> there's probably not a press conference here that John has the sad and spoke about people of Cork and how passionate they are and how involved the supporters are. And when it's a, I've spoken myself about when it's a fans on club, that's way more personal than when one man runs the club. So, um, Look, I speak to anybody all day, all night about football. I don't care. I love speaking about the game. Um, I love the support that Cork give. Cork people give. Soccer you saw it the other day down the Liam Miller charity game. Um, the the love that people have for soccer. So it's it's all positive, of course. Everyone, you just when the pressure comes on, things go under a magnifying glass a little bit. But that's normal, and that's probably a, maybe a victim of the high standards that we set. You weren't on, on the panel for the the, uh, the Bows game. Uh, were you at the match? No, I didn't, I didn't travel up. No, yeah, we um, when we don't travel, we were in we're in the Maradag with, right. with physios and right. strength and conditioning coaches, and I watched on TV obviously, but yeah. I didn't go. Yeah, but in reality, they just didn't play for the first half hour, and they got punished badly. Yeah, a very um, unusual type of performance from us, really. Um, something that, as I said, since twenty fifteen, I've been back. I wouldn't think we've we've put in that type of performance in 45 minutes ever, I suppose. But it's something that we've definitely looked to rectify and we've definitely looked to eradicate. And as I said, once from my point of view, once in four four years we do that. But uh, is it uh, is it sometimes that that this season that because you've been leading cup uh, double champions? And you've won a cup over a couple of years. Those 50-50 decisions, and sometimes then when you're chasing the league this year, when you're just ahead, trying to stay ahead or just behind, trying mm. to catch up, mm. that sometimes those matches for footballers, those matches do happen. The motivation just before the kickoff just isn't isn't 100 percent, and suddenly you're two or three nil down, and you know absolutely. everyone's looking at everyone else. Absolutely, that's the sport. That's why we love sport. That's why we love watching sport. It's so unpredictable at times, and it's. 11 people, 11 people, and all what what they bring onto the pitch at that time, what the other 11 bring onto the pitch at that time in their heads, tactically, physically, mentally, the whole lot. Like, so it's why people turn up to watch, and <coughs> those things happen every so often. Were you in Parky Green on Tuesday? I was. Brilliant. Yes. It was fantastic, yeah. Really proud Cork man, soccer fan. Um, it was great to see Healer score past notes as well. That was, <laughs> that was really nice. And I'd imagine Mark hasn't stopped talking with those two penalty sounds. He, he was the youngest man in the dressing room for a long time, so he was making them all tea and stuff, so that was nice that he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's usually going around. Well, it was great to see Liam honoured and remembered in such a fantastic way, wasn't it? Yeah, look, the guy he was here for a year and he was incredible. He was so private and so just unassuming, <laughs> and I think that's what everybody has said about him. And, for his wife and, and his three kids, and I hope that it, in some small little way, it'll help towards some sort of healing, some sort of you know that they can move along. But it's it's it was an amazing thing, and it just showed when people at Cork get their back up about something that they can make anything happen. But you might start drifting at Cork, so you play Champions League. <laughs> Listen, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Very nice. Um, 
Yeah, I was, I was sat in the stand, yeah, looking over, thinking it would be pretty, oh no, you know, maybe want to tighten up the pitch a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was, wasn't it? I think there was like two trolls in the whole game, so uh, that, that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't suit me, no, no. 